Well, hello there, my YouTube family. It is me here doing another video. Um, I'm doing a, I'm doing a my Tuesday garden tour. So without further ado, that's what I'm gonna call it. Instead of Happy Monday garden tour, it's probably gonna be my Tuesday garden tour or something like that. You know, just whatever, something to do with Tuesday, because that's where I'm. That's when I'm doing it now. But anyways, without further ado, let's get this started. All right, let me move that out the way. I just did Tea Time Tuesday on my other channel right before I came up. I keep on doing this one now. So that's what I jumped. But anyways, up here, of course, I've got my succulents, cactus, cacti. I got my miracle. I got one of my miracle girls I grew from seed. Wow, those colors are popping now. Since I put the, um warm castings in there this is popping i mean it wasn't as healthy before so this warm casting is making a difference i'm glad i got it it's ex it was expensive but it is it's doing its job in my opinion because this was just this is this is really perked up since then it's beautiful now it was just it's more green now and everything so that's awesome i am super excited then my bamboo plant right my lucky bamboo plant right there and then on the second row here, I've got more miracles. Oh, that's what I drank in my tea time. And then I got some basil plants. Those are from my pest. Um, the miracles may or may not make it by the time I transplant them, but I do got this basil. Like I said, these bo uh, the, both of these plants help with, their, with your pest. So I try to put them in with my food plants. But then down here, I've got I got my cucumber melons, what you're doing? What you're doing pretty good. I got four. Keeping them shady for now till they get all oh, bigger. I don't I don't have a clue what this plant is, but it's it's kind of like a pre-tree plant. It was given to me by an old friend of mine. But that's the only one that came up. These to me they're hard to grow, but anyway. Oh my gosh, I almost messed that up. Oh, I forgot I cannot pull that off. That is my, um, gosh, what do you call that? Morning Glory. I forgot they climbed, so I would I would have been in world trouble if I would have pulled that. All right, here, right here is my herb garden. I was transplanting it, but that didn't do so well. Nothing really survived, so I'm just going to keep this as an herb garden. And I did put more seeds in here so things could keep growing. I'm kind of disappointed in myself for trying to transplant, but I know better now to keep them in here. So that's what I'm going to do so a lot of my herbs could come. We still like to do them pretty good. Then here's this beautiful plant I got from my church sisters. I can never think of it. I don't know. I can't pronounce that name, but there it is. If you want to, if you're in serious, I got that from Easter. That was a gift. And this is my placenta, which is doing okay. I downgraded it, of course, because it's summertime and they're not going to be put, they only going to be putting out green blooms. So hopefully I can keep, I can have it again by the next holiday season. And then right there, right here is my hollyhock, which is, do, which is doing super good. That came from the same person as that kind of like tree plant. And this is, this one is doing pretty good. This is the only one I got to grow so far. I mean, I got some seedlings in there, but I'll just have to see if they'll pop up. Okay, right here I got Venus fly traps, which are doing good. I need to put some of that um, sphagnum moss around there pretty soon, which that's on my to-do list. The Venus fly traps. Okay, right here I just um, things weren't doing so good, so I just um, a couple of days ago I just planted some more corn, sunflowers, and um, wildflowers to see what happened. And then of course I have a, I had the miracle right there for the corn. And then I do got one corn right there. That's that that was the only corn that survived. But then I got a sunflower right there. That's doing okay. Cosmo right there. I think that's either a sunflower or a watermelon plant. I'm not sure. I guess I'll find out. It got, it got it got chewed up a little bit, but that's okay. If it's a if it's the type of melon plant, I'll just move it in the future. But then I got 
Another Cosmo right there. But then I got some. But then as y'all can see up close. I don't know, my phone is kind of blurry, but there's a corn popping up. Along with this creature right here, keeps on popping in. That right there. Yeah, it's kind of hard, could y'all? Is that a centipede or a millipede? I'm trying to figure that out because if it's a millipede, I need to get it out of here because I know it's going to eat all my plants. But if it's a centipede, I ain't going to worry about it because they eat the bad bugs. That one, I usually could tell, but it's kind of hard for me to tell what it is. I've been seeing it all morning long. But anyway, um, yeah, I got, a lot, I got a lot going on in here. Another corn coming up. Another little flower popping up, so there we go. But if anybody know what that is, let me know. I usually could tell, but in this case, I can't, because sometimes they do look alike. Okay, and here, right here, are my pepper plants that I planted for seed, which is doing good. They're a mystery pepper plant, so I mix them all together, so I'm not even sure what type of pepper plants. Um, I'm just as surprised at what they're going to be as you guys are. The same with this one. Okay, and then right here, guys, these are exciting because I had moved my, um, what do you call these? I forget the name of these all the time. Um, hibiscus. Okay, yeah. As y'all can, can see right there, I got some blooms on this one starting to come in. My camera don't really want to focus today, but I think I got like three of them, so I'm super stoked about that. So I, I finally transplanted them because they were getting really big. So I put them in my bags. I can always buy more grow bags if I need to in the future. But then right here is my other hibiscus plants. It's growing like a weed, even though I don't see no blooms on this one yet. But it's still growing really healthy. So that's all I care. So that's, what, that's what I'm super stoked about. I'm sure we'll get some blooms at some point in this plant's life before summer's out. But then right here is my exotic house angel plant, which is doing really good. Sun or shade, this plant, this plant keep taking off, so I put it in there where the hibiscus used to be. And there is my uh, Thanksgiving cactus plant, which is doing, which is doing really good. And sometimes we might get some bloom sometime in the summer. And there is my, um, gosh, my catnip right there, which is doing good. Well, it's doing okay. I trimmed it down, but it's growing back now because <laughs> it was getting too tall too quick, so I just trimmed it, but. I'm just going to leave it be from now, from here on out, though. Okay, right now I'm kind of disappointed, too. because Well, not really, because I am actually have two flower beds. The one I just showed you with the corn, that's going to be, that's one of my flower beds. This is my other flower bed. I put a bunch of new seeds in here. And these seasons, these seasons, most of these seedlings are popping up quick. So I'm super excited about that. Okay, yeah. So that's what's going on here. Which everything's growing back pretty fast because obviously it's some lofty summertime, so heck yeah. Well here here's just my here's just somebody said on my channel grass in a box. So that's what I call that. And then right here is my sugar baby watermelons. These two are doing really good again with the worm castings. Oh yeah, they're they're popping up good. So Super stoked about those. I'm so excited to try those because I never had sugar baby watermelons in my life as well as cooker melons. So hopefully I get those to grow so I can taste them. Strawberries right there doing pretty good. These are the ones I got from Walmart, I believe. The ones I got from Amazon didn't do much. I don't know. I always had trouble growing watermelons. In, I mean watermelons. Strawberries anyway. So hopefully I can. These will be the first that I grow okay. There's my habanero pepper plant that I bought from the store from Walmart, which is doing good. I gave it some worm castings as well inside, and it's taking off. It's already, we already look like we're trying to get some little peppers on that one, so that's cool. And there's my late pepper plant that I grew from seed. It's just an experiment to see if I can still grow it, although I planted it late. That's the only one that's still left from that group. Milkweed right there, which is doing, which is super well. Which is doing good. Okay, and here's my um, 
Here's, here's my other mystery pepper plant that I grew from seed. That one's got the worm casting, so it's doing super well too. I can tell the, I can already tell the difference in that. It's growing really big because these are a lot bigger than the ones over there. I even got these in different pots already. Then the same with up here. And then here is another um, house plant type of thing. It's a 50-50 chance that these will survive. I hope they do because I love the pretty colors, but we shall see. Okay, dragon fruit right there is taking off really good. Can't, there ain't no complaints there. Hopefully I get some fruit on these pretty quick. I thought those are fruits coming in at first, but it looks like they're just more dragon. They're just like more cactus coming in, but hey, no complaints here. I'm happy it's still growing. And here is my, um, God, what do you call this plant? My pothos, which is doing really good. It got some worm castings too. And let me tell y'all, these worm castings are making a difference. I think I'm gonna buy a bag every year now because they they do they are really good. Life with Mike was not kidding, along with some of you other people that uses it. Okay, right here are my um are my green my green beans, what you're doing. They're doing pretty good, hanging in there in this heat. Um uh, my radishes are doing okay. I know it's getting probably too hot for them, but I'm just gonna see what'll happen to them anyway. To see if we get any survivors or not if not i could always plant them again for my fall garden here right here is my sugar baby sugar baby oh my goodness sun sugar tomato plant i got to i got all my words mixed up today y'all then of course i got some miracles plants in there with these guys which is good which is um growing pretty good then right here is my Roman tomato plant. Never grown these before. My first time. I bought both of those as a plant from the store. But then again, I've got miracles in there with those to help the, with the pest control. And, and, and to bring the bees on. So yeah, that's the end of my garden tour right there. Um, of course, I keep all my water outside because I like to... I use Since I ain't, we ain't got no rain now, I use tap water. So I just like fill these up so they can sit before I use them that way the chlorine whatever's in them have a chance to get out and then of course I got this tail water for my um, Venus fly traps keep in mind if you decide to get the Venus fly traps sundew or any type of carnivorous plant please keep in mind they only need rainwater they only survive through rainwater and this tail water use any other type of water you will kill them just I thought I'll put that out there but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here if you like these type of videos pets and plants speaking of pets there's my cat right there enjoying her son she's she was in my tea time Tuesday today Charlotte <laughs> oh, are you coming are you coming oh you got some scratchies okay if you like these type of videos pets and plants please be sure to give me a like subscribe to the YouTube channel if you ain't already and please hit the notification bell so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Until the next one, may y'all ha have yourselves a blessed day. And please stay safe out there. May God bless each and every, each and every one of you. Bye-bye.